What is up everyone and welcome back to another goddamn gorgeous video. Yeah, today I'm gonna show you how to install the Age of the Ring mod. Let's get right into it. So before we start, you'll need WinRAR or something like that to uh, extract this file with this installer of Age of the Ring. So link is in the description for WinRAR. Um, just go ahead and download it and you're good to go. So now uh, a lot of you have been asking how to install this mod, so I thought why not just make a tutorial about it because anyway More and more of you are gonna ask about this, so why not just do it now? Um, so what you do you go to this link It's in the description and then you just scroll down and then you can click here on age of the ring installer or you click Here or you click here. It goes all to the same place um, but this one uh, opens actually this window here um the Age of the Ring release 1.0, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, if you get in here, just click on AOTR version 1.0 installer. So I'll just do that. And then you just click on download and you're actually good to go. So to play this mod, you'll need patch 202 for Rise of the Witch King. And BFME, BFME 2 needs to be set on 1.06. Uh, so if you have 109 installed, downgrade it to 106, otherwise this mod won't work. So, once you downloaded this, you need to uh, install patch 202 if you already have it. Um, then you just can skip this step, just skip forward into the video where you install the Age of the Ring. So, but for those of you who uh, don't have patch 202, uh, you'll need to uh, pick one of those here. I'll need to pick 69. Uh, 69 um, widescreen resolution um, and if you're wondering which one you should pick just google it up Wikipedia has something about this um, and there you can see what which one you need uh, f uh, for for those of those two here right and once you install that just download the new game that dad file you'll need this this is really important because in case of your playing online you'll get out of sync if uh, you don't have this file, but the other one or the other player has so it's important that you just download this one All right, so once you did that you're actually good to go So I'll just find it here really quick um, ba -ba -ba -ba, And here boom and then AOTR so once you install everything you should get those three files here um, and Again for the installer you'll need a uh, WinRAR so uh, just right click properties and then change it to WinRAR and then just right click again and then extract here um, And then you should get this one. All right um, But before we uh, make the installation of this one We just need to install patch 202 really quick. So what you do you'll just uh, inst click double click on this one here 202 and oh, I'm sorry. Then you just click on next next and don't change this path because it's for Rise of the Witch King this patch, all right? So you need to install it into the Rise of the Witch King folder. And then next, and then start, and then should install it. I'll just exit because I already have this patch installed. Um, and after that, you'll need this game.dat file. Um, uh, if this should look different, just um, just uh, right click on it and open it as, uh, as a uh, note block file or something like that. Um, and yeah, that's actually just it. But anyway, just right, cl right click on this one and then copy it, uh, 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 boop, copy it into your uh, Rise of the Witch King folder. You should, oh no, this is wrong. Uh, and here, 86, 86 um, Electronic Arts and the Rise of the Witch King. So here you should have two of those game.dat files. You have uh, game and game two, uh, game dad and game two dad or something like that. Um, so what you do, this is still the older one you have in here, rename it and just put that old behind it. Um, you can also just uh, uh, clip it and put it somewhere else, it just needs to be safe this one, because in case of you want to play 201, uh, the Edain mod or something like that, you'll need the old uh, old uh, game.dat file. So once you uh, yeah got this off or put old dot behind it, um, 
dot old. Oh gosh, I'm totally lost right now. Um, then you just paste the newer one into this uh, 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 folder here for Rise of the Witch King, and then you're good to go. Once you installed patch 202, um, you'll need the launcher. So what you do, you get go into the Rise of the Witch King, scroll down, and then you should get this unofficial 202 launcher. Um, so if you want a desktop, I can just uh, yeah paste a uh, copy paste it down here, and you should get it. I already did that, so that's just it. So then you open this launcher up, and then you need to. Oh, I'm sorry again. Um, then you will need to uh, enable 202. So you see now it's uh, patch 202. If I uncheck this, it's 201. But you will need to check it, so it's 202. And yeah, that's actually just it. And yes, then we just make the installation real quick of uh, Age of the Ring. I almost forgot that. <laughs> the, so what you do, you click on this installer here. Just double click on it. And then it should open up. <laughs> uh, that's great. And then uh, don't change this path. And I have the feeling of that I say and then the whole time. Oh gosh. Anyway, don't change this path, okay? Just let it stay where it is right now. Um, and then just click on next, next, and install. I'll not do that because I already have this uh, installed. So that's basically it. Then you have Age of the Ring. And then you should get a desktop icon. This one right here. This should be here. If you don't have it, just search it up here, Age of the Ring. Then you should get this one right here. And just uh, open uh, the file location. Uh, then uh, uh, paste it out or into your desktop so you have it right here. Uh, because you'll need to start the mod with this one. Um, yeah, so that's actually just it. And uh, yeah, then you can play Age of the Ring. So if I double click on this one, it should work. Let's see. It should. Yeah, this looks good. Yes, there you go. So this is Age of the Ring. Now you're actually good to go and you can play this mod. This mod is epic, I can tell you that. Um, so yeah, you can actually just go ahead and play it. You can only play Skirmish and Multiplayer. Um, so yeah, but I'll just uh, quit now because in case if you want to play online, you will need T3A. So I'll show you that right now. Again, I don't know if I told you that in the beginning of this video, but you can play this mod uh, through Game Ranger. You will need T3A, otherwise you can't play online. So, first off, you'll need to go to this link, and here you need to register yourself. So, username, email, password, and then confirm your password. And after you did this and clicked on register, you should get an email, and then just accept it, and yeah. After that, you will need to go to the listing, and here you just click on download, and then you should get the T3A installer. I'll just do that really quick, just to show it to you. And then you click on next and yeah then it should actually just be a normal installation but because i already have this uh, uh t3a then i can't install it i can only repair it um so yeah you for you it will only be installed and that stuff so ju just click next install blah 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 you know all right then we'll cancel this um yes cancel 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 good and once you got this you should have this one over here so what you do, you will click on T3A online, and then you should get this pop up. Okay, lol. I don't know what happened there. Uh, never mind. And uh, to play this mod online, you will need to click on hook, and then rise of the witch king. Um, and there you go. And it's hooked now. So you can see if it's checked, it's it's hooked. Um, and then you just click on Rise of the Witch King and it will start up normally. Um, so, yeah, that's basically just it. Patch to it too. This looks different now because of T3A, I guess. Um, okay, lol. I don't know why this just. Oh, okay, this is Rise of the Witch King. Oh, yeah, of course. I uh, know once you hook this, don't click here. You'll need to click on this one here. And then it should open up T3A, yeah, that's like it is. And yes, it's hooked, because you just did that with T3A. And then, if you click here, it should open up the Age of the Ring. And... 
It does. There you go. So that's how you do it. I'm sorry about that. So that's actually just it. Now you can play the Age of the Ring. Um, and if you want to play with me at 2v2 or something, join in Discord. Just ask. And if I have time and some of the others, then I will join you. And then let's play a game. I mean, I'll record that. I will upload it. It's going to be fun. Just, just for fun, right? So if you want to play with me or some of the others of the community, just tap in Discord. And then just ask for a game. And we'll play a little bit. So yeah, that's actually just it. Now you installed the Age of the Ring successfully. So yeah, I think that's just it. If uh, you want to see more, of course, leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. And uh, today, should a gameplay come out, I hopefully can... I should have time for that. Um, no worries. The gameplay will come out today, part 3 of uh, The Age of the Ring. Um, so yeah, that's actually just it. I will leave you from here. So, yes. Alright. See you next time. Adios, amigos.